better length, but David Boone driving on the up. Again, times the ball very well. Even the long legs of Kirtley Ambrose can't get him there in time. Exactly the same place that David Boone hit Winston Benjamin earlier in the day a couple of times. And this time having had two good shots stopped by fielders, he's found the gap perfectly, hit the ball straight down the ground there. It's a very, very good shot. And Kirtley Ambrose unable to cut that one off. The third boundary for David Boone and some suggestion that he's running between wickets during this series has not been all that good. Again, very good. This time Anderson Cummins takes some pace off it. Allows Kirtley Ambrose to keep it down to two runs. Australia at the end of 14 overs, none for 50. David Boone has no trouble picking the gap straight down the ground. That's his fourth boundary for the innings. Timing the ball very, very well. This time Winston Benjamin over pitching. Clean full toss to David Boone. And he's in the sort of form that going to miss these and again straight down the ground that's a sign of a batsman very much in form I've always you know had the feeling that uh, because the guys are blessed with so much natural talent that uh, all that is left up for them to do now is for them to, to, to try and work as hard as possible at their game because uh, obviously with the success you know the success that we have had as a team in the past it's uh, it's important you know that these guys work hard and continue to, to do the right thing because obviously the cricket future depends on them obviously the way they actually play so uh, it depends on how uh, how they actually adapt themselves you know to, to to being regular members of the West Indies team David Boone. 50 for Boone and no wicket for 89 for Australia Face that well for four. That's seven off the over with that boundary off the last ball. And Australia no wicket for 94. There doesn't seem to be much understanding between uh, himself at the time and Tom Moody running between the wickets. It's beautifully uh, timed. And the score has moved up now to 124 for one in the, 20, in the 31st over. I think that's pretty good going in. Yes, David Bloom, Boone has uh, certainly given them, given them a platform for a big score that we should have a very interesting finish because the West Indies know now that, uh, well, I guess they've known all along that uh, if they win this game, they're into the semi-finals. It's into the gap as well, and that will also found the boundary. Nine runs off the over, good one for Australia. Two for 141. Boone managed to get that one into the gap, so they get two. So that's the end of Simmons. Two for 40, his figures. Ambrose opened the bowling. No wicket for 25. That's a good shot by Boone into the gap on the offside. That outfield quick and into the fence it goes. Cannot afford to drop it short to him. David Boone may be having some problems with a knee injury, but it hasn't affected his footwork here. Down the wicket, making room for himself. Getting outside leg stump to give himself room on the offside. His form has been very good throughout the summer. He's been the premier Australian batsman for this summer. He needs 11 runs to bring up his 4,000 in one day internationals. Of some nerves here for David Boone as he approaches his 100. He gets his 99th run. And in the course of the over, could well have been an edge onto the pad of Williams earlier of the bowling of Hooper. He's gone to 4,000 now, but he would be more concerned with the last run to get him to a century. And that 
that's it. So David Boone. On a hundred. Well, the crowd have loved every moment of that. It's a very fitting way for David Boone to finish off his international season this year. He has been Australia's leading batsman. He's been in very good form all the way through it. And very apt that he should finish with 100 at the MCG. It remains to be seen whether or not Australia enjoy such similar fortune. The batsman who scored two centuries and Rami's also got his in the first match against the West Indies. Well, Boone got his against New Zealand in the first match. And that's a catch. Under it is David Williams. It's taken a long time to get there. But in the end, it falls safely into his gloves. And David Boone goes for an even hundred for the second time in the competition.